Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Z from uh, Keen Reef. I'm just gonna do a quick update on my uh, 150 gallon uh, mixed reef tank. As you can see, uh, the left side is almost uh, LPS, and right side is almost uh, SPS. All right, let's see the uh, left side here. As you can see, my clownfish is uh, hosting the uh, torch. Torch coral, mostly uh, torch colonies here. There are a couple uh, small ones that grow from uh, uh, from the baby, which is spawned in the tank. Uh, this one, and also uh, this one. It's a green tip uh, with green green uh, tentacles. And so that one's grow bigger because the uh, the light is stronger. Looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at the uh, right side here. This section uh, is getting the most of the flow. I think this section here is uh, this section here has the uh, strongest flow. As you can see the size of the colonies, you can tell those are the fastest. This is the uh, pink Cadillac here. And we grow really big. I have to uh, trim it a little bit. As you can see here, it's already uh, recovered. Okay, to focus. There you go. And this is the Sunset Mini. It's pretty big right now. It was grown from a, a little one inch frag, I think. Pretty small one. You can see the size here. And this is the yellow tip. And it's the one touching the uh, carry tool here. As you can see here, it's more almost look like a shaking hands. As in carry tool is saying that sh sex was shading me. <laughs> Alright, this is the rainbow room. It's going pretty well right now as well. And it's also touching the one uh, coral down here. I don't know the name for it, but they're okay uh, touching each other. There's no uh, tissue loss. And this one is uh, tabling acro. Looks like so. Soft is doing good. Uh, there's also a long tentacle. I think the one down there. There's a long tentacle uh, Japanese. Uh, Toastal. And this one's also, I think it was similar, similar variant, but not as long as the, uh, the one down here. And this one is just regular Toastal. My engineer Gobi sneaking out a little bit here. As you can see, the uh, pink attic is growing really big, start to shed in the uh, yellow monster down here. But so far, it's good. I might need to start to uh, to trim them, trim the uh, pink lac, Cadillac, and also the uh, South Emily. It's almost touching here. All right. Those are some uh, wild corals. They're looking good. It's growing fast right now. It's picking up some speed. Uh, especially this one. It's really cool uh, for the uh, tentacles. Or polyps, sorry. The polyp extension is crazy on this one. This is a little flurry. It's picking up some speed right now. Uh, 
So I think this is the uh, bouncy mushroom. Sorry, bounce bounce mushroom. I think it's reverse toxic bounce mushroom. It's pretty aggressive. Uh, I killed a bunch of my uh, aquas. Sorry, Akins down here. And this is the clams doing pretty well. Alright, let's change up the angle here. And this is my favorite angle here. This is a large uh, elegance coral. It's pretty big. It's almost uh, 12 inch by 12 inch. It's with a uh, pink tip. It's the other side of the uh, LPS site. I think all the baby torch that spawned in this tank is uh, from this one. Well, all the babies look like this one anyway. So I think this one, this one, this is the one that spawned. These are all colonies. Most of them are like a seven heads or nine heads. Some are even uh, twelve heads. It's the frog spawn. It's getting really big right now. And it's shading the uh, sapphire right down here. See some of the uh, power extensions are losing here. But I think it's okay. This one's called a copperhead sapphire. This is the uh, Oregon tour, and this is no name Manipora, and they're touching as well, almost touching I think. They touched once, and I think uh, Oregon tour lost. But right now, I think they're okay. I might need to uh, cover the uh, this mini just to prevent the warfare. Yeah, I guess I like I like Oregon tour more. Mm, come on, come on. All right. Yeah, as you can see, this side, the uh, little variety is growing pretty well. And it's the. I think it was. Uh, Orange lemon. Can't remember the name. Suddenly forgot. Pink lemonade. Here we go. <laughs> it's the pink lemonade. I think it's touching the Oregon tour already. Let's see if I can find an angle. Yeah. Get touching. I think the orange tour is growing over the uh, pink lemonade. Hmm, interesting. Go down here, see one any one only or eight cans left in my tank. Is doing well here. See the polyps. Some polyps station here. Let's see if I get it focus. Some spicy lemon and orange uh, plate coral. Orange plate. This one is my favorite. Have been. I've been keeping this for like uh, two or three years, I think. But now it's just constantly getting covered by the sand. 
because the uh, the orange orange spot sand will be pretty annoying though. Constantly getting covered, I have to get my uh, my hands in there just to uh, just uncover it, <laughs> get the sands on top of the way. It's the candy can. It's the, uh, one of the baby torches, and there's another one on top of here. It's the, uh, this is the strawberry shortcake. Doesn't have too much flow here, so it grows pretty slow. And this is the red planet. It's almost touching the glass. My algae scraper, we cannot get here. See all the damage that cost. Trying to get my algae scraper here. You can see better from the, the single. See that there's a little area there that I didn't get my uh I'm not able to get my algae scraper. <laughs> Alright. This is my uh Euro tour, Euro tip, sorry, Euro tip tour. It's pretty big and almost reaching the surface, which I don't like. Might need to cut those tip down. And this is the purple one. And you're touching the uh, Euro tip tour here. In here, the WVC yellow tip is growing over the purple wind, mm -hmm. and on this side, I think purple wind start is growing over the uh, going over the yellow yellow tip tour, but they're okay, no tissue loss anyway. See the uh, green slammer and all the stack here, they grow in, into each other. In the base they're touching, there's no uh, tissue loss. It's just one growing over and then the one growing over down here. Okay, down. I guess they like each other. <laughs> and also including this red multi pora dished out of here. I can get into. Yeah, just throw some contrast. Here's the green. Okay. This is my, uh, I think it's a Hellfire Mini here. It's a pretty slow grower. But the red is really hard to, uh, to get it to show. It's basically an indicator of uh, the problem in my tank. If it's not red, then I got an issue. If it's brown, then uh, it means that uh, I have uh, too much nutrient. If the uh, the red is fading out, that means that I don't have enough. Uh, well, I need the water change. I don't have enough uh, small micro elements. Or enough nutrient, you just lose the uh, red. But right now, I think it's happy. This one I just grew, I just got this one a couple months ago. Looks pretty good. I think it started to take off right now. Well, I guess not not an easy piece. This is a uh, no idea what it is. It's a wild aqua. Don't know what's the name. And this is the Red Diablo. Some weird growth pattern and tissue loss, but in general it's growing. No idea what's going on. Some red, 
and some uh, some orange, some green. It's acting weird, but in general it's growing. So I'll just leave it leave it like that. I think eventually it's gonna get the color right. It's the uh, season's greeting Montipora. I thought it was a Monty cat, but well, it's not. <laughs> but I kind of uh, blew it away like Monty cat. It's the Gogonia, which is my favorite Gogonia. Okay. It's the Fox Flame. Start to uh, picking up some speed. And there's another no name, but it looks pretty cool. Has a very nice uh, poly extension. Some red color. The guy told me I uh, told me it was a uh, name coral, but I can't remember what it is name. There's some uh, encrusting coral on the back wall. Not even encrusting, there's one across here. It's a red mini, just to test out how it grows. Pretty good. Start to uh, picking up some growth. It's the jack o' lantern. Can't really get the focus because of the angle. They're touching here. I think jack o' lantern is winning. Maybe, or don't really care. Alright, this is this side of the uh, SPS body. In general, they're doing good. I'm getting lazy right now. Missed a couple of water changes. I think I'm just gonna miss the one uh, this week as well. I usually do a weekly water change. But uh, recently I kind of skipped to uh, every uh, two weeks. But they're looking good, so. Right now the tank is on a cruise control, so I don't have to worry about too much. Everything's growing pretty fast. I think that's the only issue. I have to really start to uh, trim it. Alright, this is a quick update of my tank. Like and subscribe if you would. And see you guys next time.